Hi everyone, it's Russell Lowe speaking, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a layer mask to remove the background from an image that's sitting on top of another one in Photoshop. So, uh, let's bring in our background image. I've just dragged this uh, JPEG from one of my folders that was open on another screen. Uh, this is a UNSW library lawn, uh, and then I'll grab my other image with the subject in it and drag that and drop it onto the same scene. Now you can see I can click and left click and drag this around uh, and you can see it's created a second layer over the top of the background. Now this is a little bit small for a, for a car so I'll click and drag on the uh, handle at the corner. Uh, I could have clicked on any of these ones or if I hold down shift I can actually change the size of it disproportionately but I'll go control Z uh, to get rid of that change now it's a bit hard to see exactly how big I should do this so if I go to the opacity of this layer and turn that down to say 50% or so it makes it a bit easier to see what's going on in the background as well so let me make it sort of about that big so it's quite large, it's quite front and center of the image. When I'm happy with that, tick the uh, approve, and then I can come back over and turn up my opacity up to full again so I can see the image in its full glory. So what I need to do first is cut the background out from this uh, layer, and there's some really handy tools in Photoshop to do that. So if we go into this one over here, uh, which is called the quick selection tool with W on your keyboard and when you click on that one you can see that it says uh, it gives you options up the top here saying select subject and make sure you're on the proper layer the layer that we're focused on um, to remove that background so I'll just hit select subject a couple of seconds later Photoshop has analyzed the image and uh, selected or put a selection border around the whole uh, subject. So now if we go uh, and zoom in on this we can see that a few bits it hasn't really selected very well and you can see that my cursor has got a plus in the middle of it. If I hold down the Alt or Option key it goes to a minus. So minus there, plus there. So uh, I want to take away this so I'll hit the uh, Alt key and minus, and I'll sort of click on this, sort of does okay, maybe I'll add that in a bit more, click, click, and clicking away, hold down the Alt and the middle mouse wheel to roll in, here's another bit that I'll hold down the Alt to turn it into a minus, and it sort of takes a few more, ah oh, here's a big area, I need to add this in. Now if you're adding or subtracting too much at a time, you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard at the top right there of the keyboard to make this a brush type thing or selection cursor larger or smaller. So let's make it a bit smaller and that gives us a bit more control. doesn't make such huge changes. Here's some more over here and you get the point. So we can further refine this later on. So uh, with it selected like this come down to the bottom right and mouse over this icon here which is add clipping mask, uh, add a layer mask sorry. So click on that and immediately the background disappears. Now what have we done? We've created a mask so now this is our image here and this is a mask over the top of it and a mask is, is uh, like you'd expect of a face mask or any other type of mask that covers something and leaves other things exposed. If I hold down Alt and click on that I can I can look at the mask itself and you can see the white areas are showing me the color of the truck and the black areas are showing uh, what's going to be removed. Now it doesn't have to be just white and black. If it was gray it'd be a little bit transparent so you'd get a little bit of the color and the, the whiter it is the more strongly the color comes through. 
So hit Alt and left click that again. So with that layer selected, that mask selected, uh, you can see I've got black and white over here. And just check that if we go on to our brush tool, check that our brush tool is on normal mode and opacity is set to 100%. Doesn't need to be. If you want to paint greys, then dropping this from 100% is really good. But if I come and use the Alt and mouse middle wheel to roll on here, I've got black selected. So if I draw on here, I'm drawing black onto this mask in the background here. And this mask, anything black, makes it transparent. So let's swap this to white by clicking the arrow here to swap it. Now I'm drawing white, so anything I draw will come back in again. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, that. Uh, so I want that to be, now I want to draw in black. Well, remember, uh, well, here you can, you can hit the arrows here, or I can hit X, and that immediately changes it from white to black. Uh, the bracket keys makes this smaller or larger, makes the brush smaller or larger as well. Let's look at another area, say over here. Uh, I'm on black, so that's making that um, uh, disappear. And then actually white, I should be white here, so I'll hit X uh, key to change from white to black, foreground to background. And well, not so good, so let's change it to X, and now I'm back on black. And I can, it's usually easier to see, I usually add more in with the white and come back with the black to remove it because it's easier to see what you're removing rather than guessing. So anyway, that's how to create a layer mask and, and uh, remove the background in Photoshop. So stay tuned for uh, the next video where we'll flip this and adjust the perspective so that it better matches the scene in the background. Thanks for watching.